Hey, Fight Fans, Bob Rodriguez here once again for the Movement Network, and we are talking boxing. Please don't forget to subscribe. Oscar, the golden boy de la Hoya, is at it again. He's at it again. This man keeps on chasing Earl Spence Jr. till no end. So a little while ago, Oscar de la Hoya said that he wanted to sign Earl Spence Jr. under the Golden Boy banner. Earl Spence Jr. responded by saying that he's doing just fine and he's not going to sign with Golden Boy promotion. Then Oscar released another tweet, or uh, actually no, at this time, he was doing an interview. He said that the, the, the reason why Earl Spence Jr. is not making 10 to $15 million per fight is because he is not signed to a good promoter or a good promoter company like Golden Boy Promotions. Now, here's a question. How many fighters does Golden Boy has signed that make besides Canelo above one or, <clears throat> one or two million dollars a year how many fighters not many not many now if I were to ask the same question about and I know this is not a promotional company but if I were to ask the same question but I'm going to word it a little different how many fighters that deal, that have made a deal with Al Heyman, PVC, are making over one or two million dollars. I would say about five or six, off the top of my head, about five or six. Now, I'm gonna say this simply because it's one of those things that I always believe in. The boxer, makes the promoter company 100%. Golden Boy Promotion does not make Canelo. Canelo makes Golden Boy Promotions. And the era where these promoters think that they're the one in charge has come to an end. That's one thing we got from Floyd Mayweather. You don't need a promotional company to make money. If you notice, most of these fighters out there, they all have in their own promotional company. Canelo Alvarez got his. As a matter of fact, Earl Spence Jr. got men down promotion. He hasn't signed anybody yet. But he said it himself. He is looking for fighters to fight under his banner. Now, Golden Boy Promotion, Top Rank, and Eddie Hearns, they have nothing special for They have nothing to offer uh, Earl Spence. Earl is in, the, is, in a, is in a position right now where the whole Dallas team, the Cowboys, Jerry Jones and all that, they go into his fight. What makes Oscar think that Spence need him in order to make money? I don't think Oscar De La Hoya could get Earl Spence more money than what he's making now, especially saying that he could get him 10 to $15 million more than what he's making now. I don't think so. Besides Canelo, ask yourself this, answer this question. Besides Canelo, who in Golden Boy Promotion is making more than a million dollars? Who? Well, at the end of the day, Spence did the right thing by saying no to Oscar, especially since Oscar has all these issues right now do you see golden boy being around 10 15 years from now maybe uh earl spence won't be in the game 10 15 years from now but do you see golden boy as is going right now with oscar and his crazy uh behavior outside his promotional company hell he lost half of his promotional company because he didn't even know most of the fighters were not signed to him he didn't know most of the fighters were by fight contract one fight deal well, that's all I got for this topic. I think Earl did the right thing by rejecting uh, an offer by Golden Boy Promotion, uh, Oscar De La Hoya. I think Earl is, um, is going to make it with or without a major promotional company. He did the right thing by starting his own promotional company, Man Down. 
And he should stay away from Golden Boy, Top Rank, Eddie Hearn, Lou the Bella, and everybody else out there. Well, Bart Rodriguez again for the Movement Network. Don't forget to subscribe. And you catch me over at the Patreon. I do special uh, videos, motivational stuff, and a lot of entertaining uh, shows on, on, uh, on Patreon. If you want to be a part of it, head on over. You can find me under the... Um, the Movement Network or either Bart Rodriguez. Catch you guys in the next one.